So I just dropped out of college just now, just did the paperwork and I'm out, I'm done, I'm not in college anymore. And so, you know, obviously I'm gonna have to make a video trying to explain why I don't wanna fucking go to college, university. You know, cause it's just, it's so expected in our society and, um, universities have been around since fucking, this is gonna be a long video, I'm just gonna rant for a long time cause there's so many reasons why I have decided not to go to university, even though it was, it was something I was really into and I was enjoying a lot and I was getting a lot out of it, had a lot of value to me, but it wasn't worth the time and money investment for a lot of reasons. Anyway, university's been around since fucking ancient Egypt and shit, man. It's been around since the dawn of civilization. We've had uh, educational institutions and that's a great thing, you know, but it doesn't mean everybody has to be a part of it. And, um, fucking cops up here, hang on. It, but now things are a lot different now. Like now we're, it's 2016. I can go get educated. Like in the past two decades, in the past fucking 20 years, man, 20 or 30 years, things have changed a lot. I mean, things have changed a lot. For one, the state of the planet has changed a lot. We're, you know, just deep in this crisis right now, you know, with the environment and, uh, crops drying up and shit like that, like, we are just the, the, we can't fuck around anymore, we can't be like, oh, you know, it's, it's hard to think of things from, uh, I guess they call it an anthro anthropocentric, but no, that might not be the right word, from, uh, the point of view of human culture, you know, we really have to, to expand our horizons in the way we think now, we can't just think, oh, I want to help people in blankety blank such a way. And that's what I want to do with my life because we have to remember that we got to take care of our planet. We have to set aside time for the fucking planet. And we got to set aside time to like do these things that we need to do like gardening and to do if, if our occupation or lifestyle doesn't involve exercise, we need to set aside time for fitness, you know, recreation, sport, exercise. And we need to have time to be out in the sun. And we there, there's just, we have to uh, integrate ourselves with the planet in a way that um, classical culture doesn't really al allow all people to do. So if your profession, if you're thinking of going into a profession that doesn't involve being outside with people, and if you're thinking of going into a profession that doesn't involve exercise and all these things I'm talking about, you need to make sure that when you're planning your future, you in fact you set, you have time for this shit, and you got time to make money while you're in school too. And I just did, I uh, I had the money thing taken care of. As long as I'm working to pay for my food, I would have been able to pay for school, but that wouldn't have provided me with the time I need for myself and for the planet you know, and uh, for just sustainability and simple living and just a, a healthy lifestyle that's a little more laid back, you know. A healthy lifestyle is not one that's so frantic you just never get a chance to breathe or you never get a chance to do any art. Like, I was born and raised a musician, man, and I just, music, oh yeah, you know, like I got into dietetics, I'm like, I fuck music, man. I was like, fuck it, I, I don't need to do music, blah, 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 music sucks. Or not, you know, not like that, but I was like, you know, I, I, I pretty much said I'm done with music for now because for at least like 10 years or so because I don't have time to take my music seriously, which fucked with my head so hard. Like, basically, just not going to have time to be an artist and be like, oh, you just got to plan your time wisely. It's like, there's so few people out there that can do everything in life that I wanted to do when I was in school. I can do all that stuff. I had such big goals, man. I have a lot of goals in a wide variety of areas, you know? And uh, a lot of the most important ones were falling by the wayside because I, all I had time for was school and I definitely could have made it work, but it wasn't worth my time. It just wasn't worth the investment of time and money to me. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting in the way of the stuff I want to do to be creative, to help the planet, to, you know, help people get fit and healthy. It's, it's actually slightly getting in the way with that. 
and uh, you know my goals of being like a nomad it's it's being you know working in hospital doesn't really help with that you got to be creative I mean yeah a dietetics degree could have helped a little bit because I could have created uh, some more professional nutrition education videos but as we can see you do not need to have any certifiable credentials to do very well in the world of nutrition as a business or as an ethical nonprofit organization you can be very successful without uh, any kind of degree in dietetics or nutrition and this and there's uh, yeah and then so I'm not gonna get into dietetics you know uh, the American Dietetics Association which is run by McDonald's and Kraft and Taco Bell and all this bullshit I won't get into that you know because I don't really understand what it means to be a dietitian nor do I really care to I'm fortunate um, I have a good job you know and I have a, a sufficient lifestyle I'll just say that I have a sufficient lifestyle and my job is interesting enough it's helping me learn new things that I never knew before and it's just helping me be more handy and I think it's gonna help me like in the future if I want to buy a house maybe I'll actually build a house because my job has to do with building houses and I'm just learning a lot about that stuff and just demystifying it so yeah um, what other reasons for quitting school it was it just wasn't that fun man like sitting on a computer like this like you know, rub my eyes and just trying to stay awake and write these papers and so, most of it, I mean, yeah, I'm just in my first year, so I was dealing with all the irrelevant shit, but it's irrelevant shit, and I'm wondering, like, how long am I gonna have to deal with, uh, you know, all this irrelevant shit and missing out on what's really important, you know, and what if the whole degree, what if, like, uh, last time I tried school, this is my second attempt at school, my first time, it ended up, like, I, I, was doing relevant stuff but it was like bullshit and it was like non-productive and it, it wasn't like all entirely bad like I was learning stuff but the program was poor man and the teacher like the teachers like weren't all like with it they didn't even like some of them weren't even as they were like 20 years in the fucking business and they didn't even know music as well as I did and they couldn't even like sight read me fucking shit and on and on and on and you know my major we're playing uh, it, it's just everything like you go into college and you get highly specialized focus so that's what college is this is like very highly specialized whatever it is that you're into they're gonna fucking go in depth in whatever that is but um yeah so if that's for you maybe college is a good is uh for you yeah but um, yeah, like, make sure if you're gonna go, if you're gonna do the school thing, it's a big fucking commitment. Na make sure you know very, very well what you're getting yourself into. Don't just say, okay, I want to study this and expect to have a good experience studying whatever it is that you're studying because there's fucking bullshit involved, man. There's, like, just financial interests, especially in the field of dietetics and stuff. Like, you, USDA still recommends that people eat animals, man. USDA recommends that people fucking include animal products in their daily diet. That's fucked up. That is incorrect. USDA is incorrect, man. The, I mean, they, they say, yeah, you can be vegan and, like, plan your food, blah, blah, blah. But getting that meat off the fucking food pyramid? Oh, fuck, man. That is... That's gonna take a lot of fucking effort, and it's it's gonna have to happen at a grassroots level. And we're gonna have to have everybody out there doing it. We need dietitians doing it, but we need every single fucking motherfucker out there fighting this fucking animal product bullshit, man. And that's what's most important to me. I wanna help people with chronic diseases, but most of these chronic diseases are fucking simple as to deal with, man. Heart disease, diabetes, you know, high blood pressure, most cancers, uh, stuff like that. It's about getting rid of the fucking meat and the environment, fucking the way human beings treat one another. It's about getting meat out of the fucking diet, man. That's what's most important. So, like, getting in there, getting all scientific, 
good, awesome, we need that. But making real change, it's simple, man. It's simple as, and we just need to talk about it. We need to raise these questions every day. And it doesn't matter who the fuck you are, you just do it. And you can make a difference, just as much as any other fucker. Just as much. So, uh, yeah, part of it is just I don't want to be in school. Like, I, I don't want to be spending my time doing that. I, uh, I yeah, I, I don't want to be working in in school all the time. I, I want to just be, like, living my life and... Yeah, so it's just, for me, it's a time thing. Like, I need time in my day. I need time to put out videos. I need time to get my exercise. I need time to relax. I need time for friends. I need time for music. And that's a recipe for a happy life for me. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And, like, being out of college and stuff, uh, just having that extra time saves you money as well because you're mentally more, like, with it. So you're, like, you don't have to, like, grab that takeout when you're when you're uh, in a rush, you know, and spend that extra five, six bucks on a meal. You don't have to get that coffee in the morning if you've been up too late. You don't need that beer or that friggin', you know, puff of weed to help you get to sleep because you're over-caffeinated. And <sighs> you get that just when you get out of work, you're done for the day. You can fucking upload your videos or you can, you know, read a book that read whatever fucking book you want you want to get educated buy a goddamn book man it's 2015 like it's, or it's 2016 but we just have so many more options to us now so college is always going to be a great option for people it's fucking fantastic like i'm one of the people that really maybe should have uh done it because my parents are offering to pay for it but I'm just like, hey, if my parents end up croaking, you know, that's a hundred thousand extra bucks that my parents didn't spend. If they can like live simply and stuff, then I'll have a bigger will. And is that that weird? Like, it, it, one way I'm screwing my parents over financially to get to school, or the other way, I get a bigger will when my parents die. Does it really make a difference? Like, I, that, I'm not thinking like selfishly, or I'm not. Am I being lazy because I'm fucking... What? Because because what? Like, I have as many or more goals than the average dietitian. Most, most people that go into dietetics, it's the same with music education. You go in... I went into music education because I was like, I don't know, I like music, I'll just be a music teacher. That's why dietetics people, they, they don't really have, like, motivation, they don't have goals, they just want... Here's what I want to do. Here's the field that I want to work in, because I like it. I like dietetics, so I'm going to work in dietetics. I think I'd enjoy that. Uh, but that, like, just because those people go through all that shit, and they, they, all the, they're not doing it for anybody necessarily but themselves, or they're, uh, they're, or they're doing it um, just because, you know, they think it's like an ethical career to be in. But what about the goals, man? The goals you want to have, those are the big things, like changing people's lives and changing the way people fucking treat treat one another and treat the planet and fucking changing the way people treat their bodies really having that like that that goal those goals um i don't know if dietitians all have those goals i think a lot of them are like yeah you know like i just like to want to be help people be healthy and it's kind of like a little La la la! Like, there's not really any drive, determination to fucking make change in the world. And that is what really counts. When you go and you look at who's successful and you look at who's um, making a big change in the world, it, it's m half of them are have not gone to college, or even more than half of them haven't gone to college. They're just people who have the information and they have the goals and they have the yeah, you know, like the objectives. They have fucking, uh, yeah, things they want to accomplish. And if you have the desire, you always fucking get it done, man. You always fucking get it done. Um, it's as simple as that. So, like, be the change you want to see in the world. 
Uh, and don't don't fucking wait. Like, don't fucking wait to be that person that's just like really making it happen. I, there's dietitians out there who aren't doing shit. There's di- vegan dietitians on YouTube that don't have the fucking time and energy to make to have like a really um, what do you call it? A really productive, active YouTube channel. And so I'm like, uh, this going to school thing, I'm spending a better part of a decade pretty much preparing to do this thing that I'm already beginning to do now, which is the YouTube, the activism. So I'm waiting, I'm setting all that stuff aside, the stuff that I'm actually passionate about. I'm waiting till I have my degree to do it. And then when I get out, I'm expecting to just, oh, all of a sudden I'm like doing my thing. I'm like living the dream life and I have a really productive social media outlet. What's really happened is I've delayed my progress for fucking years. Or I've severely slowed my progress down for that big amount of time. And it that in and of itself might not be worth um, the advantages, you know, that loss of progress might not be worth the piece of paper that says, hey, you can tell people what to eat now. What am I missing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what I'm fucking missing because when I, uh, talk to dietitians and I say that I'm vegan and I eat a lot of fruit and I eat a fruit-based diet, they're like, Where do you get your protein? And that was like, okay, I'm not going to be a fucking dietitian. And I I heard that long before this. And I think they're improving and stuff. But when a dietitian asks a vegan, I'm worried about you not getting enough protein. I'm like, "I I don't think this is worth it, man. I don't think it's for me. It's fucking ridiculous. So yeah, um, I think that's enough reasons for me. If you want to fucking go to school, fucking do it. It's it's like, it's a great thing, but you gotta want it. And I just don't desire it. Well, what I desire, I, I desire other things more. So you gotta you gotta make choices in life sometimes. And I think I'm making the right one. Is it a risk? Yes, but so is college. College is as much of a risk as not college. And uh, yep, feeling confident in this decision. I'm really excited. Today's a beautiful fucking day in January in New England, in New Hampshire, fucking Northeast USA. I can't believe it. It's 59 degrees Fahrenheit out here. It's gorgeous for January, middle of the winter. I can't believe it. So I'm going to go on a nice long bike ride. I'm going to get sushi with my mom and she's going to try to talk me out of it. I thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to have a lot more uploads coming out um, as time goes on because I just, I got more time. I got more energy and uh, yeah, yeah, everything's looking really good right now. So thanks again. Peace, everybody. Go vegan and spread the word. Spread the message of health. Love you all. Thanks.